And welcome back, everybody. Greetings. Hello. Happy Easter. Let's play some more Kingdom Dungeon Hero. Let's see. Uh, I think the button to press is load. And then uh, V3. Now let's see what our uh, our kingdom is up to. <clears throat> All right. So I think we left off. Yeah, I was trying to figure out uh, how to heal these guys. They don't do it automatically, apparently. So I have learned uh, some more things. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but that's our situation. So we are brighter kind, and uh, we're trying to defend our ally here, which will probably be the last time I defend an ally because it's a major pain. <laughs> it's so annoying. Um, but yeah, so we're currently fighting Aminon here. And uh, he's got this pesky stack all, all really nice and 60 strength. Uh, we're at the end of summer, heading into fall. We now have a second army available. There. We're just going to sit on the spaces we've got for the moment, see if he moves or separates this unit out. Um, so while we wait for that, let's go ahead and do some healing. So you have to hit a button. So there's a button up here. Reinforce everybody or reinforce individual units. And uh, it does cost resources in order to get them back up to strength. Basically, the way it works is um, in order to return like the one unit of knight missing and the one unit of cab and so on, um, their original build cost uh, per strength point. <laughs> so divide their original cost by strength points essentially. It's in the right neighborhood. So it's going to cost resources. So we're going to need horses to replace the horses. In, uh, actually, horses are used in a lot of these units. Um, if we go check the, the economy section here, even the swordsmen have horses needed. So, um, yeah. So let's, uh, let's do a few things. Let's, uh, let's buy some horses while we're here. I think that'll be enough. Uh, maybe we'll find out and then we'll try to get everybody reinforced, reinforce all. And that is it. 10, 20, 30, 40, 57. So 57 for my group, 60 for his group, but we have another 60 over here. So hopefully between the two of them, we'll have enough. Um, so horses are back down. Everything else we've got. I don't think we moved anything this turn. I think I started the turn and went into... Uh, I saved the game, so. Um, yeah, it doesn't use up any of our movement points for that. Let's see. And I am still worried about uncovering my, my stacks. I'm almost to the point where I'll say, well, fine. I, well, I can't let him run around back here in Cartier on his own because then my supply gets cut off. So I've got to just keep pushing south, taking locations to extend my supply lines. So problem is I can't bring them to bear either. Hmm. Um. I think I am going to bring them forward. Let's try to put pressure on him. We'll do that. We'll leave Sage well out of this. All right. Diplomacy. Um, our jars at war with Aminon. Yeah, we'll leave those two that way. And um, we'll move. If he stays there, I'll have to think next turn if I want to try to do an attack. He's getting a little bit of a defensive bonus for the hills. Um, but I'm not sure if it's better to try to hit him. How did I get the details on that stack? I don't remember what I pressed. Well, not going to worry about it. 
All right, so we'll try this. We'll see what happens. Uh, what else I got going on? So we got these guys going into the medium dungeon. Those guys just kind of sitting around doing nothing for a while. So, let's see. We're going to not spend any more money currently. No cohorts coming out. Hmm. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do any of that. No change here. We did get to adept in both of our production setups. I don't know that I have any harvesters though. I don't think I have any harvesters. <clears throat> I've got at least an excavator somewhere. So now we're going big into uh, conviction magic to raise the armor and heals for our units. In adventures, each level increases the armor and heals by plus one per spellcaster. And I'd like to get more cavalry advantage after that. Let's actually hold off on these. Do this. All right, let's head into the dungeon. I forget where we were at. I don't think I had any unexplored uh, secret door areas. Let's just go south. <laughs> Let's start with a bear trap. <laughs> Thanks, Geary. Once again, I, uh, I really am not seeing the value on the adventurers. They just fail their job too often, and they're terrible otherwise. They have no real redeeming value beyond that. So I might have to pull Geary out of here. Supposedly, Geary's observant. She even has this... I don't know if all adventurers have this, but... Uh, Ah, plus one search disarm traps, observant to search and find traps, but she fails or he fails constantly. All right, whatever. Uh, Emsa Kyloper. What is an Emsa Kyloper? <laughs> Rejected by the black ground for being too aggressive. All right. 12 melee. 7 armor. That's pretty strong. We got 40 spawns in this dungeon still. All right, let's do the same thing we usually do. I think I am going to go for a couple of stuns. We're going to block and taunt. Two guys trying to get stuns, three doing attacks, and we'll see kind of how things end up after the fight. Pretty good hits. Okay, not bad. Let's uh, go all attack now. Nah, you better heal. Ouch. I got hit up. I got I think I got crit hit. <laughs> yep, crit hit. Dream Stalker hit me for six. I saw that number go way down low and I got worried. That's what you gotta worry about. Don't ever and we got hit there. Uh oh, we we got a crit on against the enemy. You gotta you gotta wear against that. So damage ranges from one to three, but then there's a chance for a crit, which does double, so you can take up to six points in a single attack. So don't ever let your guys be below six hit points. I mean, they could get hit multiple times, which drops some below and then get killed. But, you know, anybody drops below six, pay real close attention. That, unfortunately, used a ton of our heals. Way more heals than I thought we were going to have to get out of there. That six-point damage really sucked. Um, Plus, we had to heal up the bear trap damage. So do we do another fight or do we bail? 
I think we can do one more fight. Hopefully it's not a really big one. <laughs> Gee, guess what? <laughs> it's a really big one. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. And there's more of them than me, which means retreating is going to be rough. Uh, this could be really bad. Okay. Um, huh. This one makes me real nervous. Let's go for full attack with just the warrior blocking again. Yeah. Almost got one down. Put uh, let's put you on slay to get rid of that guy. Let everybody else hit where they want. Damn it! That's not enough. Six more hit points of healing left. Really need to get rid of some things. <clears throat> One hit point of healing we might have to bail out of this fight what's this game this game is kingdom dungeon hero we are currently experiencing the dungeon in hero portion of the game I think we might make it. Thank goodness. That one worried me. We're out of here. We're out of heels, so we got to bail. Secret door was found. All right. Uh, was that a south secret door? I always... <laughs> I should look at my map before I hit that search button. I can never remember which direction we didn't have access to earlier. I think it was south for the secret door. But we're bailing out anyway, so we can't afford another fight. We shall return next round after we have recovered all of our our uh, magical abilities. Okay, so we're done there. We're done there. Uh, I'm going to wait out this and see if he moves that unit. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Forum House is gone. Only fifty five food produced. We're at 71 on the stockpile. Nothing new, nothing new. Advance improved. Uh, nothing going on there. And more trade. Okay. Diplomacy. Oh, son of a... You have got to be kidding me. Uh... Ooh, 
Well, now we have a big problem. What I just saw was that Cartier, who I'm trying to defend against Eminon, has now had war declared against them by the big guy to the north, Warwick. <laughs> so the two biggest kingdoms on this side of the map are now trying to eat Cartier. And I still have the problem of the, uh, the hex control stuff being wonky in this game because the patch is hitting kind of mid-game to fix that hex control problem. Now, if I leave any of the cities uncovered, Warwick will walk in and take ownership. I don't have any units left except for what's in my armies, meaning I'd have to weaken my army group. I got nobody I can move over. Oh, isn't that special? And there's no way they're not going to step on that size 8 city. That could be a cavalry unit right there that just races down the road and grabs it. Okay, well, let's do this. Do I hit this guy or do I don't? <laughs> Both of my units are full strength. I'd have to move and then attack. And if I attack here, I'm attacking over the river, which I don't want. I could move here and see if we can force him to retreat. I think this would cut off his supply. Let's do this. Let's heal this one militia unit out, which I don't want to do. But let's do that so we can keep the Cartier covered. Then I am going to move you here. And we'll see if we can force this guy to retreat. That should cut a supply off because that's a Cartier unit. That's my unit. I don't think he's allowed to trace line of supply through other territories. So we'll see what he does. I'm hoping he tries to pull back south. I wonder if it would be possible to set up a picket line to prevent him from moving through. But he may just come at me instead of going around me. But I'm curious to see what the AI does in this case. So we're going to do it for science. So we've got all of Cartier's locations covered currently. And we're trying to force him to retreat south. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I want there to be diplomacy stuff in the game, but it's, it's got some diplomatic options, but you have so little control over any of it, and there's not enough depth to it to make it something you can really engage with. Like, currently, I'm trying to protect Cartier against Aminon, but I can't force any kind of peace between the two. I just have to wait and hope. And I suspect I have to actually go fully conquer Eminon to ever end this war. That's what it feels like. That there's just never ever going to be a peace. Um, so I, I just don't have anything I can really, I can, I can grapple with or manipulate or, or change other than just raw go kill Eminon. Um, and now that Warwick's involved... That's even weirder because I'm allied with Cartier and I, I don't, am I allied with Warwick? I don't remember. We've got some deal with Warwick. Uh, we're at peace, peace and trade with Warwick, but now he is fighting one of the, he's feudal. So, I mean, I guess, but yeah, I, I don't know what I'm going to do about that because <laughs> there ain't no way I can take on Warwick and Aminon try to protect Cartier, so this seems like just a totally hopeless, lost cause. I, I don't know how you would ever defend an ally. Uh, it feels like alliances are just a uh, convenient fiction that you, you get just to get a small bump in your stability score, and that's really as far as it goes. Otherwise, you just, you know, let the dominoes fall where they may. Because I just can't, there's no diplomatic options to actually enforce any changes or, or have any effects that I can, I can deal with. 
So it might be just pure war game, uh, destroy all neighbors <laughs> kind of gameplay. So, yeah. Uh. Maybe the right play for Brighter Kind next time through is to uh, immediately go to war with Cartier, knowing that Aminon's probably going to also do it, and then try to grab up the juicy locations before Aminon gets there. But taking the capital is always going to be a struggle with the fortifications. So yeah, I don't know. Or leave Cartier out of it and immediately go for Morator. It was, that was my original plan. I was going to be... Friends with Cartier, friends with uh, Terrawin. Uh, it's going to help uh, Cartier against Aminon, which I've been doing, and I've learned a lot of the combat stuff by doing so. But with the limitations in the diplomacy system, I just don't see how you can ever really do anything here. Um, meaningful, anyway. But this this is now just absolutely not going to happen. I uh, Is Warwick at war with anybody else? I thought they were at war with these guys. They're moving units up northeast. Uh, who are you also at war with? Just Cartier. So, yeah, that's not good. Why? I mean, I, I don't know. Probably they pick Cartier because they're so weak after getting hammered by Aminon for so long. They're just easy pickings to come down and grab. But that's the kind of thing where it's it puzzles me because... Did Warwick consider me being an ally and my my strength in combat uh, military when it made its calculation to declare war against these guys? Or does it just see Cartier has got almost no troops left and uh, therefore it declares war? Because he can't do anything while I'm sitting on all the spaces here. So I, I don't know what he's going to do. We'll see just what kind of activity the computer does. But it, that's where it gets weird. Um, with the limitations and the diplomacy system. I don't know how it's going to work. All right. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what happens here. We'll investigate some more of the AI behavior. Um, I'm trying to learn the process for properly prosecuting a war against the computer in the game. Um, we're coming into winter, so it's the first. We got three turns of fall, three turns of winter, where likely movement and food and so on is going to be a problem. Speaking of food, I better... I better stock up. We better buy some food. We're finally not able to just produce all that we need. And I haven't found a good way to keep stability up either. Get bonuses. 50 is the median point that it gravitates towards. It naturally drifts towards 50. The further away you get from 50, the faster it drifts back. Um, and it's hard to find ways to keep that up other than constantly making and maybe even breaking um, diplomatic actions because you get a flat increase in stability for attaining certain diplomatic things. But I'm not sure yet. I, I really don't know how to get that thing to go up and stay up. All right, so we're checking that. We'll go back into the dungeon, and that's really it. My other group is just hanging out until we can get uh, more heroes. Which, we can get one more currently. So it looks like my library finished up. So, warrior. Ooh, another gold administrator. But I need I need, I need people in my group. Who have we got in there currently? Warrior, warrior, druid, and mage. So, we got two more slots. So I want a second healer, second mage. I don't have an adventurer for the group. I think I might go second healer. So pick up that cleric and second mage and just ignore the adventurer class. I'm, I'm, I'm falling out of love with the adventurer class pretty quickly. So let's go ahead and pick Bren up. If uh, nothing else, I can have Bren temporarily do... Uh, village administration to increase our gold output or we start sending the five characters into a low dungeon which i might do it although pommel here is 34 gold that indicates that pommel's got better base stats more armor versus resist magic huh
I'm going to take the higher stats. All right, so we'll send our group of five into these two low dungeons. They'll have to go slow, but it's better than have them sitting around doing nothing till we get yet one more guild put up in our very limited <laughs> locations. So few slots to build. I got to go a conquering like all these other guys are doing. They're all expanding their nations by conquering their neighbors. I am falling behind the times in my feudal defense of Cartier here. All right, back into the dungeon. Let's see. We went south. And I think south was the secret room. So we did spot the trap that time. And we have our shard golem. So we should get... So far, every time we found one of these, it's been trap, shard golem, and then a magic item when we finish the fight. So... And, uh, sure, try to stun him. A shard golem. Magic rating of nothing, but a resistance of 12. Wow, all right, we're not going to try to cast any spells on this guy. <laughs> Go back to combat. I think he's going to resist that, too. Ah, let's just go melee. Alright. Emerald Piercer. Plus five to the weapon. Minus one armor. Uh, Vimal. You currently have Azoth's Wrath, Strength 2, Cleverness 2, Weapon 2. Um, hmm. I give it to the Adventurer, so maybe she can, or he can actually hit something? <laughs> Yanthus is on defense most of the time, so he's not going to get the weapon bonus. He'd be the other most likely one to hand it to. Well, I guess Vimal's catching up. Hmm. Magic, magic. Melee when I'm not healing, but I'm healing quite often. So yeah, Geary would be the other one. I mean, melee power 12's good. Let's give it to Geary. He's not, I keep saying she, I think Geary sounds like a, a girl's name, but he, uh, he's not getting hit that often because the, uh, the taunt, so he doesn't really need the armor. So I think the plus weapon will help quite a bit. Weapon eight, mainly power 17. All right. Hopefully we get more hits in with him now. So that was nice. That was a really good weapon. Back to the north. And another big fight. Okay, what are we fighting? Ooh, the Twisted Aberration. I don't like those. Alright, back to magic. Let's do Spellbind Attempt. Lock, Done, and Strike. Off to do the healing already. Nice. Very nice. That's what we like to see right there. Three damage, three damage, three damage. No crits, but if we can get consistent three damage, that means we're in pretty good shape. One spellbound. Back to healing with you. And let's go magic. Let's go uh, finish him off.
15 health. We've got at least one more good sized fight in us. There's going to be probably three more fights total. Seven to eight each. Maybe four fights if we get a smaller group. But they're probably all going to keep being these large groups. Dead end. Dead end. Uh, let's search. Nothing found. The Night Gaunt. Wandering Horrors. Horrid Tormentors. Demented Unwanted. So much fun stuff. Uh, not terribly high resist. Let's go back to trying to stun and stun the first round. See how that goes. Got the magic stun off. <laughs> Followed by the melee stun. No kills yet, though. Dealing with you. Magic damage. Alright, let's just do pure damage. Come on now. You're doing more damage than we are. I don't like it. Points of healing left, so this will be the last heal of the fight, and we still got two big guys with a lot of hit points. This could still go horribly wrong. How about you go back to spellbind? Nobody else attack. Ah, they spellbound my guy. Uh, let's move you off of that. It's you there. All right, it's 14 to go. It's going to be two more groups of seven or so, or an eight and a six. So maybe we'll be done next round with this medium dungeon. We can get through both fights cleanly. Uh, search. Got a little bit more golden shards, and that is it. All right, so next turn, we'll move these guys over to the low. We'll have two dungeon fights to go. And uh, I'm really curious what Warwick's going to do with me covering up all of the locations. Hopefully what the result is is we see him run south to get back into supply, heading into winter. So, find out. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he didn't make it. Oh, he went after Jiri. Or did he move his units? Did he attack or did he... Did, uh... Guess we'll have to see. Yeah, 55 produced. We're going... We're using 62. So, I'm having to buy 10 and we're not even in winter yet. But we're getting winter effects for our food production. So, we're getting a big negative for how much food we produce. Um, nothing new going on there. Ah, what the hell happened? <laughs> did he, did he smite them and they did no damage? What, what, what the hell happened? This means, oh, he retreated way the hell up here. Was that a retreat or did he just decide I, I'm leaving? I don't know what, I don't know what happened here. Warwick's not on the move. This means I need to get this covered. So we got to go here. I 
I can't afford to leave that uncovered. I just don't have enough units to keep everything covered. No way am I leaving uh, one of those major combat units behind. Not when I got this stack rolling around. I'm not sure I could keep him from getting or pushing through me and grabbing this again if I moved here. I would love to move here and then force him to either back off or be able to hit him with both units at full strength and full movement points next round. Although this would be a Sally fight, which I wouldn't want. Um, so that's not ideal. I think we'll sit tight one more turn. We'll keep everything covered one more turn, see what he does and where that guy goes. He, he must have moved. There wasn't a fight. Because he wouldn't still be full strength if there was a fight. So, very weird choice, computer. Very weird choice. Moving north for no apparent reason and uncovering a city that will provide forward supply lines for your enemy. All right. Um, fortunately, I think that's all we're going to do over here this round. As we play Wait and See. Yep, another big group. What is that? Yep, eight and then six in the final group. All right, so we're going to need a good, uh, good couple of rounds with not too many big hits on us in order to get through both fights. Uh, a couple of abominations. All right. I will commit one spellbind. Everybody else just start whacking. Yeah, it's pretty good. Only one hit point. We did uh, a fair amount of damage. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> oh, we got a crit. But then we took four. Yeah, we were at one, so that's right. And we're also bashed. So you go on defense. You get off of that option. You go on heal. And you finish off the wounded guy. Damn it! <laughs> Come on, dude! You got the highest defense and stats I can put in here, and you're getting crushed. We're not going to make that next fight. Not at this rate. That's only going to get him back to six. That's still easily within uh, you die range. Ah, we better switch. Oh, I just cannot keep from getting getting hit. Getting these massive three point hits on our, our guy constantly. Uh oh yeah, I don't think we're gonna get out of this without getting so low. I'd be nervous taking that last fight. And we're not getting uh the stuns happening often enough. And again, it didn't happen. All right, screw it. <laughs> Jeez. Come on already.
That was a terrible fight. Terrible fight. Three heals left after one fight. All right, one to go before the dungeon's empty. Moving on. Now another big question mark. Spending five in. Uh, that one. Mondo's Brute. Hey, Mondo's Brute. Is Ghost Lurker. Ooh, the Night Gun. That was doing a lot of damage last time. All right. Uh, so you are going to do the defense thing. Wizard is not doing melee. Oh my god, that wizard's terrible. Baron, you suck. Crap. Yeah, that's uh, that guy's terrible. Wow. I might have to get rid of him. He has absolutely nothing going for him. Hmm. Let's see if you can manage to spellbind somebody. Not a good sign. And my main healer. Ooh, I need this one, even though it's lower defense. Two more hit points. That's already within critical hit death range. Ah, let's uh, switch these two. Unfortunately. We've got two healers. Let's who's more combat capable. You've got healing twelve. All right, I guess you're the healer then. Good job. Varen actually spellbound somebody. Twelve left, huh? We can do at least one more fight. Hopefully. More Mondos. Grantus. What's a Grantus? Uh, insect creature. And melee, five defense, four armor. Right. Um staying and staying. I think we're good. Come on. We're not getting anywhere near enough hits. And Mag or Varen is not getting any stuns. The only difference between these two is how quickly the animations proceed. It makes no tactical difference whatsoever. Just whether or not you want to pay attention <laughs> really closely or not. Now that we have the adventure log, I look over here for most of my information, so I'm mostly doing quick fights once I have my setup I want. Kill something, please. Or stun something, please. Jeez. You took a hit? How did that happen? That's interesting. It's been a while since I had somebody take a hit in melee when I was blocking.
Just me and you, Mondo's child. Um. All right, so we're out of here. Two fights is pretty good for a group that's law that's minus one member for a five-man party, five-person party. Thirty-five to go. All right, that's our two dungeon adventures. <clears throat> So the question is, what's going to happen here? Is he going to move up in now that he's got uh, supply options? Where are you going? I really need to hit this guy while he's not in defensive terrain, but it's going to require me bringing these guys south. really don't want to uncover this keep. And I really don't want to make my my unit short in strength let's do it see what happens here if he somehow manages to go through me and get up into everfield well <laughs> that'll be lesson learned I have left one uncovered for uh, Warwick to possibly move on, but he's definitely not going to make it to there from that spot. So let's just kind of see what happens. 352, 74 food is enough. Uh, we're in the middle month of fall. Um, let's sell some, f some wood. And I think some shards. Buy some horses. Want to make sure I have enough raw materials on hand that if we take combat losses, I'll be able to pull back and then recover, replenish, reinforce. All right, let's see what happens. Well, he moved. Mars house is gone. Okay, winter effects, inadequate food, 65 stockpile, and we're not even into winter yet, so I'm going to have to keep buying food, so i got to watch out for that. Um, stance improved with Warwick. Great. I'm protecting my, my ally against his hostile, <laughs> his hostile declaration of war. So I don't have a move. Oh, there it is. So he moved from there back down to cover Istum. All right. That's fine. Is that then allows me to do this? And this, I can't, I want to get to there, but I think I'll settle for here. That should still screen his ability to move north past me. And it'll give me the option. If these guys look like they might have any problem here, there's no fortifications. It's only a single stack. So that group should be able to easily force them out. And if all I can do is gain Castle Maru and keep him pinned in the problem's going to be again getting guys to sit on top of these cities as i advance so i'm gonna need to get some more units over here i don't see any other way to do it so we'll do that um economy or militia Ugh, i have to pay for these guys i don't want to pay for these guys archers is what i want um, but ready in three turn. Spearman in two. Prevent and stop cavalry attacks. That's mostly what I fear from this guy. I'm not sure what Warwick might bring down. All right, let's do uh, a couple of spearmen. Take a little while because I'll have to generate them. Then I'll have to run them over here, but I can kind of leapfrog units forward. So I should have done that probably a couple of turns ago. 
not anticipating us being able to push forward and me needing to actually park units on top of every single location. So now what do I do? I've got Jiri uncovered. Uh, guess I bring you forward. I really don't want to make the border attractive for Warwick to come running down, so I have to keep an eye out. Especially if he's got cavalry, he could get there in two turns, probably. I really hope this guy can't get around me up to Baron's Keep. All right, what's the weather look like, anyway? Rain? Yeah, rain. Okay, we'll see what this move does for the computer's decision-making and leaving this uncovered. That is that is now five fort as well. Wow. <laughs> While I'm fighting the war for him, <laughs> Cartier is building massive, massive amounts of fortifications. I mean, this one started at five, but there's no way Mary Hill was at five. I, I don't know what it started at, but it, it definitely was probably a two, if even that. So he's just fortifying the whole. Oh, is he pushing north to take? <laughs> I think he's pushing north to take Warwick territory <laughs> while I fight his war in the south against the guy who originally started slaughtering him. He's decided, oh, OK, I'll run my units uh, up north and I'll start taking stuff from uh, from Warwick, who's busy doing whatever. I don't know what Warwick's doing. He's not a, he's not at war with anybody else. So what the hell are you doing? Yeah, the only thing he's got is a, a war with Cartier. So why he's got all of his units moving northeast, I don't know. Who the hell is this? That's Warwick's territory. Huh. Weird. All right, whatever. Um, yeah, that's that's fun. <laughs> huh. All right, uh, back into the dungeons. Let's see. Go ahead and uh, buy some food to cover us for the month. And uh, sell some more crystals. Can't afford any more district upgrades. Research, no more alchemists. Hey, we're 29 out of 30. 29 out of 30. So close. Hmm. Ooh, Administrator 20, and Sneak, and Observant, so it's another Adventurer. Huh? So apparently they always have this combo. But we're all full up. Um, before I forget again, ah, 49, we still have our armor attribute on our knights. Hmm. small to put a guild here. No spots left. Ah, I can't put any anywhere. 
Here we go with conquering. All right, let's get another market here in our main production area. Get the max upgrade, level three. That'll be it for that. So done, done, done. Diplomacy, summaries, battles, heroes, recruits. Got a couple of turns for the spearmen. And uh, back in we go. Last trip in. This should be a fairly quick one. I just gotta go find the last room, which should be over here. Jongen the Hunter. A young man who ventured too deep into the wandering woods while hunting. Said an arbor beast put a curse on him to hunt his own kind as the creature transformed him into an unhallowed version of himself. 18 melee! 18! And maybe this won't be so easy. Seventeen melee for these two. Oh boy, we're gonna need all of that healing. I'm actually kind of worried. <laughs> they might be tough enough to chunk through my defense. This is a nasty fight. So this must be the finale room with the boss, essentially. But hopefully, we get a magic item here if if we survive it. I'm a, I'm actually a little worried. Um, please spellbind somebody. Resist. Three versus resist two, so not a lot of resist, so please spellbind some. Definitely defense. Uh, go for a stun. Let's not go for a stun. Everybody else alone. <laughs> We're gonna die! Oh, shit. <laughs> I knew that was going to be a problem. Let's see. Two, one, and one, and three. So we actually did a little bit of damage, but... Yeah, that is not a good sign. Go to heal mode. Switch defender. Go on attack. We got no no uh, no spell bind out of you, huh? Come on, Darvin. Come on, Darvin. Feel free to uh, spell bind Jongen or one of the Baskorka. Any one of those three would be awesome. That round was a little better. We didn't do hardly any damage though. Only two damage. No, three damage and none incoming, so yay. Uh, time to switch back. You're still the better defense. Go on offense. Still haven't spellbound anything. One more try, Darvin. Then we're switching you back to, to combat. Okay, Beemel got a good damage for, got four. How do you do four? I thought it was three and then crit possibility. So how do you do four? Did we get like two damage roll and then critted to double it? Maybe that's what happened. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how they calculate that stuff. Uh, that was a pretty good round. Uh, I am going to leave him on heal because this is still really dangerous. We got rid of one of the Baskorka. Gongan's still full up full strength though. Ouch! <laughs> so much pain. Alright, screw you, Darvin. They have low resists and you keep failing your roll over and over and over again. It's getting ridiculous. Off to combat with you. Okay. 
Yeah, we gotta keep every we gotta keep the druid on heel. Not great. Twelve hit points left, still a lot of damage coming in. God, come on. We did one damage that round. We might not make it. <laughs> I'm going to run out of healing here real quick. I don't even have enough to get him up to full strength, and we still got this crew banging away at me. Nobody's doing any damage. Last heals. Well, we got him down to five. Finally got some hits on him. Fortunately, he hit us as well. So back to you being primary there. If we don't uh, like kill two of these here in this next round, I am out of heals, and we're gonna have to retreat. This is a nasty fight. Why is the sorcerer meleeing? Because you know he's an idiot. That's why. Not like he's doing anything anyway. <laughs> he fails everything. Uh, again, we don't get enough. I'm getting so worried. <laughs> We're in death range. Do I bail? Oh, man. I can't go to either one. Uh, do I risk it? It would be so bad to have either one of these guys die at this point. Well, I mean, four defense against these guys? I think that's almost a guaranteed crit. <laughs> Against, like, 18 melee attack and 14 melee attack? I don't know if he would survive it. I'd rather have the uh, the adventurer take the hit, at least a slightly better defense. They don't even have to. They don't even have it, so I can't taunt with them. Yeah, only the warriors have the taunt. So if I don't... You do one of the warriors have uh, taunting, then um, they're going to land hits wherever they want to land hits. So close. Oof. Oof. I think we bail. We got it down to the last two. I It's not worth the risk. We could die, no matter what I do. Let's see if we can retreat. Alright. We are out of here. I, I just can't take that risk. Not for a one-turn savings. Mongo. Aragon Young. Ooh, tough. And huge. Hits all heroes. That's a baby dragon. <laughs> this group can't fight a baby dragon. <laughs> oh my god. In melee rating. Tough. 
And uh, hits all heroes. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, who, Varen? You mean the guy that's five melee, five magic? <laughs> sure, he's he's melee attacking. <laughs> uh, this guy's just terrible. It doesn't matter what he does. It don't matter. Sure, you want it to be a blue instead of a red? Okay, no problem. <laughs> Now, the last guy, yes, he should have been on magic. This guy, it doesn't matter. Not going to make a difference. I don't think I can afford to take this fight. I'm going to try to retreat if it lets me. I'm scared to death of this. This is the first large thing I've seen. Uh, and with 10 melee rating against... He's going to be hitting everybody. Two. <laughs> Varen is so bad. Oh, this guy is one of the worst I've ever seen. Um, I guess if he dies, you know, slot opens up. <laughs> so let's let's try it. What I worry though is as soon as he dies, then it's equal numbers and the retreat option, I think it's a lot harder and or impossible. So Let's uh, let's not do that right now. We'll pick a different direction. And we'll see if we can get a, we'll continue fighting elsewhere. Hopefully we don't run into more of that. And uh, that kind of feels like the boss of this this area. That guy would be really tough. We'll see if we run into any more. All right, that's a little better. Because <laughs> we're close to getting uh, level ups. Well, not that. A couple of them or so are sort of close. By the time we pile through the rest of the spawns, hopefully there'll be a level up or two, and then maybe we can take that Terragun. But we'll avoid that for now. All right, Holy Warrior blocking. Uh, attack, attack. Um, Druid. Slightly better magic, and who cares with Baron? Uh, you guys have very low resists. All right, Varen, back to attempt, attempting to stun somebody. He did it! He stunned Mondo. Spread some damage around again. Thirteen heals left. Nothing found. Flailing Behemoth. Thirteen melee. Man, and again, tough. Hmm. Layling's the worst. Night Gaunt next, and the other two, eh. 13 heal. Hmm. Not a terrible round, but we only got a little bit of damage in. Ouch. Varen has hit two spell bounds so far. Uh, 
I mean, he's, he's, he's doing pretty good. <laughs> if we just give him that one task and low resistance enemies. Somebody finish this guy, please. Go after the lowest hit points. Get rid of that damn behemoth. still alive um, I'm still pretty happy with myself about leaving that Terragon fight though I think that would have wrecked me and might still wreck me uh, so get all that hoping to get this armor and heals bonus next round Waiting to see what he does here. Now that we've advanced forward, see if he tries to go for Baron Keep. Heading into winter, which I don't think he'll do. I don't think he'll be able to get supplies. Not with my armies squatting here, I don't think, and this. But he might be able to push the supply line somehow. No, this is, the, this is breaking the supply, so he shouldn't do it. He's been pretty shy. The computer so far has been really shy about going after any sizable unit. I very, I'm trying to remember if this entire run, if I've seen him actually attack one of my larger units. I don't think I've seen him do it so far. So let's see what happens. Uh-oh. That's interesting. We're going to have to go after his main stack now and see how the combat works against... Oh, winter has arrived. All right, 51 produced. Down to 59. Nah, not from Wizards and Warlords dev. I think the, uh, the game this dev is known for is Warplan, a World War II game that I think uses the same engine and such. It's basically, this is a fantasy... Heavily modified fantasy version of Warplan. I believe. Alright, nothing else to look at here. So, yeah, look at this guy. <laughs> he's, t he's charging Warwick with his one little stack. <laughs> he's like, I gotcha, come get some. <laughs> Oh, Card Cadier, you're you crazy, man. I'm never helping you again. Cadier is nuts. This place is just whack. He's not even leaving units behind to keep these under control. They're just going to flip back to Warwick's side if he doesn't put people in there. So I don't know what he thinks he's accomplishing here. But he did this. He moved up to here. He's on the hills, so he's going to get a defensive bonus. I think that, nope, that counts as grassland. He is not in the hills. So he does not get a defensive bonus. So, three to there. That leaves me three strength points to join in with that attack. What I'll probably do is I'll hit him first, my stack versus his, and see what happens. Then I'll make the decision whether I want to come down and do a secondary attack, or whether I'm going to try to take this and step into the town force him to pull back a retreat or whatever. Warwick's got nothing coming this direction yet. I got another turn before the spearmen are ready. Ah, let's see what happens here. So, minus one. Which one was that? I think the 10% is a weather-related change. It's probably still raining. Yeah. 
I forget the left hand versus right hand column. I think the right hand becomes the fortification value when you're fighting in a town. Not morale. Is it a leadership difference? Might be a leadership shift. I don't like it being negative, though. This is going to be a tough stack to crack open. Hmm. Alternatively, I just step on this. And what is he going to do? Actually, I think I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to go ahead and do this fight first. And depending on how this goes, I'll, I might step on Istam. That's the most important thing, because that denies him supply uh, in the area. We'll probably still get supply from this direction to this unit, but yeah, let's let's do this fight first. All right, we did get a big hit. Eliminated five strength worth or six strength worth. That was uh, well. It says five, but it shows them at four strength now. But whatever, rounding probably. Um, so we definitely advance. We still have four strength points. That's going to be an overwhelming victory, or a not overwhelming victory. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go here and see what he does with that group. Let's just keep the pressure on him. Problem now is going to be he theoretically could rush past us, but I think we'll have blocked line of su or blocked supply for him. Ooh, I barely have supply. Ooh, crap. I got to remember that. So he could... Put me out of supply just by moving over a space. So we might be forced to step out and smash this guy, depending on what he does. I think he's still getting supply, given what I'm seeing here. But I'm curious. I'm going to see what the computer does. So, All right. Uh, we're learning how to do this warfare stuff in this particular game. I don't think he'll charge north. For the same reason why I can't just charge south, but, mm, you know, he's doing this kind of crazy stuff, so we'll see. Yeah, all right, that's all I'm going to do over there until we see what happens. Um, We got the one fight left there, and these guys are still wandering through. Uh, heroes. Another adventurer, warrior, and a woodsman. Bots, return for the recruits, economy, we're actually running low on wood, I gotta stop selling stuff, well, I'm still generating a lot of crystals because of my adventurers, so get some cash from crystal sales and then we'll purchase food, all that good, got just enough, ooh, we got no horses. Uh, that means if we take wounds with our troops, we're already light. Tempted to run this guy down to join the group here, but uh, I don't think I quite have him locked off yet. So next turn, if he pulls this guy south, or doesn't move north, I'm going to probably pull this militia down to reinforce this group and then occupy this space while we keep marching south. We'll have the spearmen coming out next turn, but it'll take them a few turns to get over here. So far, Warwick has not come racing back down this way. Starvation. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Low food supply. How did I have starvation there? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I guess it did. I was not getting supply, so... All right. Uh, hopefully that recovers. That could be really bad. He could mess with me pretty bad if he uh, cuts off my supply, which would be a smart move. I, I'd be impressed if he did it. 
is he, he, he theoretically a human would know I'm hesitant to actually try to take that stack. And uh, even a simple shift over would cut my supply line to this army. Forcing me to fight with low supply. So I'm a little worried about this circumstance. But plus we're going into winter, which is even worse. All right, uh, let's get this one finished up. Go kill that final boss guy. Back to full health. <laughs> All right, spellbind attempt, fence, and everybody else fights. Good hit from Geary. Wow. The adventurer got three damage in. That's that 12 melee attack from that weapon she's got or he's got now. <laughs> that emerald piercer just did some piercing. And uh, no damage. Cool. Look at that. And we spellbound. Still no damage to worry about. Looks so easy now. No magic item. Dungeon is complete. Fair bit of gold. Search. And a little more gold and shards. Oh, we did get him. No. Not get a magic. Wait, we did get a magic item. That's a different one. <laughs> the flesh spear. One, two, and three, huh? Uh you. And you, oh, all right, so you're going to get it. Cool. Nifty, so we did get magic item, uh, along with good rewards. All right, we are just looking for places to search. Broken hallway, hidden entrance. I got one search left. One gold. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, I sure would like to get one of these high leadership uh, heroes go leading that army of mine. I got a low leadership hero over there right now. Well, I mean nine. Not terrible low. But it's definitely not uh, 9, 8, 6, 7. That's my secondary group. Leadership of 14, 13, 14. Yeah, I would love to get one of those 14s over there. Geary might get nominated because <laughs> I'm not really happy with Geary. Or adventurers in general. All right, let's go do this other one. We're dodging tarragons. Twenty-seven spawns remaining. We don't want to go there. Let's finish off this route. Five against five. This one could be dicey. Come on, cut the numbers down.
Don't think we can try another fight. Gotta be real slow and careful with that group. All right. Um, and with the dungeons, we're waiting to see what happens here. Does he cut off my supply, which would be a pretty smart move heading into winter. We're at the first month of winter now, so it'll be midwinter next turn. If he cuts me off again, I don't know when the supply phase occurs. If I get supplied, then he moves, or he gets his turn, and then the beginning of my turn, does it apply the supply state? I don't remember the, the sequence of when it's going to happen. Let's find out. Is this the demo I'm playing? It is not. This is the current beta build of the game. It's, oh, he finally did it. I'm surprised. So this is the, uh, the, the, the current beta build. <clears throat> not available. <laughs> not available uh, to, to pick up yet. Full game is scheduled to release in July, so the developers in um, final polish, UI improvement, info improvement type uh, stuff. Most of the core game plays in and ready to go. It's just um, doing polishing and bug fixing and all that kind of stuff. And we got starvation again. Why do I have starvation occurring? Well, it wasn't that unit. So who got the starvation? <laughs> uh, summaries. Unless that was the last turn. Sixty-nine thirty-eight. Huh. However, <clears throat> so yeah, he actually went after me. Did some damage. One point to the swordsman and two to the spearman, but that reduced him as well. What I don't want to do is sally forth. Uh, and if we move, we use the vast majority of my, my strength. Well. He's racing back again. I think we move you. Reinforce. Reinforce. Can't can't even make it to the castle because of the weather. The storm going on, cutting everybody's movement down. <laughs> of course. Of course that's where the storm's at. Hmm. I'm tempted to give up Istum. Just to guarantee I can get back into supply, which that won't actually do. <clears throat> It's funny, I, I got supposedly supply all the way down to here. I could move to there. That makes it easier for him to cut off my supply by moving here. Yeah, I, I, I can't I can't race past this guy. Made that mistake one time previously. I'm not sure what the uh, the crossed swords indicates. Back to full strength with you. 
out of horses. So nobody else is getting reinforced. But you're still full strength. What to do, what to do. I think I'm going to give up Istum. I'm not going to attack him this round, but uh, I'm going to give up Istum. Tempted to leave a unit behind, but no. No, I don't think he's out of his supply lines. I can't see his supply line, but... Well, supposedly he is, but I don't think that's the way it's working. I don't want to risk it. The fact that he took a little bit of damage, he may or may not be able to recover it. And uh, I think he'll have to retreat. And it's, it's winter. I, I don't want to get in trouble here and have my troops get starved out during winter. So we'll wait. It's just going to take a while. All right. Uh, off to a new medium dungeon. What level are you guys now? We got, a, we got everybody fives except for the, uh, the adventurer, huh? It's we're still struggling to get through mediums at a good rate, so I don't think it's time to try a hard yet. So let's just hop into this next medium. Zero percent. Oh hell yeah, I'll take a zero percent two turns. If you kill somebody of mine when it says zero percent, we're gonna have words. So 69 spawns, and I'm only going to be down for two turns. That is a weird computation, considering how slow it's been going for me to get through these medium dungeons. Oh, I'm going to say yes. <laughs> so here, let's do it this way, though. Let's be... Oh, crap. I can't leave now, and I can't save it. Yeah, I can't save it from this screen. That's fine. We have an auto-resolve. Or an auto-save. All right, gained a level, gained a level, gained a level. Two-turn recovery. While unscathed from the adventure of the heroes, go got into a bar fight and now need time to heal. We got 100 gold, 111 shards, and no magic items, I'm assuming? I really hope auto-resolve still gives you magic items. All right, well, that speeds that up. Oh, that unit got starvation. Why am I being told about his unit? <laughs> I'm not surprised he starved. Yeah, yeah, Everfield. Still no move this direction from Warwick, huh? Man, I'm not moving off the size 8 fortification 1 city or the size 3 fortification 5 city just to go sit on Everfield. I don't need to anyway. All right. Uh, let's go over here. Still poking our way slowly through this one. Dodging, uh, dodging dragons. Mondo's heir? All by himself? Is this guy gonna just, like, flatten me? <laughs> 23! <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh my god, 18 strength, 23 melee, 16 hit points, holy crap. Five resists, I don't think we'd be able to keep this guy stunned. And I think he's high enough, he could one shot. Eh, I don't think he's allowed to one shot either of these, but can we keep up the healing and actually do damage? We gotta try. All right, you are absolutely going to try to spellbind, and you guys. Fence resist bonus times two. That doesn't help. Not against this guy.
We're going to just try to keep him stunned. We'll have two opportunities to try to stun him. He'll take the hit. Unfortunately, that doesn't leave much for output damage, but I need to see if we can stun him. And then slowly chunk him down if we can keep him stunned versus trying to rush damage on him before he can just flatten somebody. So let's see how this first round goes. <laughs> whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Nobody did nothing. He hit me for one. Jeez. Oh, boy. I mean, he's not hitting very often, but we're not getting any stuns either. I got bashes and magic stuns trying to go off. Nobody's hit in three rounds. Yeah, three rounds. That doesn't bode well. Four rounds. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. We better get a heal in. Switch back. And still, not a single stun. So, screw the stun stuff. <laughs> Stop it, Mondo. <laughs> You're being an ass. I can't hit this guy. That was a little better. Oh my god, the mage got him for three. <laughs> I am shocked. Shocked, I tell you. Well, this is obviously the boss. Apparently the Terragon is not a boss. <laughs> I don't know if they have many bosses in the dungeons. But the Terragon scares me. Well, I mean, this guy is scary, but he's not hitting as hard as I thought he would for damage. We're, we can't seem to stun him, but... I got plenty of healing ability, and he hasn't really crushed anybody yet, so. As long as I got these two to alternate and occasionally get some damage in, we'll eventually get him. Six gold and a little bit of extra elsewhere. 16 hit points left. 21 enemies still. Birch. A Dark Seeker. Weapon plus two. Um, yep, you're the one doing most of the fighting, so have at it. All right. Um... Mondo again. Defense. Strike, strike. Uh, yeah, let's go for straight damage instead of trying to spell bind.
Um, ten more. Whoops. My bad. Stop doing that, damn it. here 14 left how many were with the dragon three he was three problem now is going to be that the um all the rest of the enemies are on the other side of that terror gun <laughs> so i gotta i gotta do that fight in order to get past so that'll be interesting all right all done there See what happens here. Hopefully we're in supply and nothing else bad happens. He definitely shouldn't, I don't think, be able to run past us, but who knows, especially with a cav unit. Maybe he can get enough movement points to push past our, our two units. Whether he would or not, because I think that would fully cut him off. Uh, we'll see what happens. I was really surprised when he actually attacked me into that city. Um, Still no movement from Warwick. And we do have some cash and some stone. Oh, and we have our uh, spearmen. Can't move them till next turn. Research, a hey, plus one armor and heals. All right. That sure doesn't sound like much. Oh, we got another alchemist at some point. Uh, let's do there. We'll go two, two, and two, or three, two, two, two. <laughs> there is a uh, slight diminishing returns for adding more, but I think it's only like six percent of the effectiveness per guy you add, something like that. So it's fairly minor. So I might be spread a little thin, but. All right, economy. So I got my spearmen out. They're going to come over and help hold the positions while I keep pushing the armies forward against Ammonon. This this fight is this war is taking way too long. Uh it's getting harder and harder as I get more units out to feed everybody as well. We're we're definitely going to have a food problem, but we're we got one more month of winter. We got enough stockpile to get through that, but we're not gaining as much during the uh, the good growing periods. So food is still going to be a concern. Holy crap. How do I get, how am I getting this many crystals? Are we getting that many out of these dungeons? I wasn't really paying attention to the crystal amounts, but I mean, I sold a bunch last time and all of a sudden they're up to 272 again. And the price is not changing. <laughs> How's that work? Uh, what? Oh crap, is something broke? It feels like something's broke. That number should be going down each time I, I do a batch of 10. Unless there's just insane demand for crystals, maybe. I, I haven't played long enough into a game to say for sure, but every previous time I've hit a sell button, this number has changed, gotten lower, because as you keep selling, you're glutting the market. We've now sold like, I don't know, four or five times and it hasn't moved yet. Plus, I don't know how it jumped all the way up to that huge number. Huh. Maybe we got a big uh, crystal reward for finishing that last medium dungeon that I don't remember or didn't see. 
All right, well, that gets us uh, a fair bit of cash. I guess we're going to buy some horses. It should get us enough to reinforce any damage that we take. Um, I've got enough stone and lumber. Get, ooh, that's expensive. Really need granaries. What I need is just food production. I need the harvesters. Hmm. Build a harvester. Upgrade the library again. All right. Um, druid, Enchanter, and Druid. I think that's it for this round. Curious what he's going to do here. How does the adventuring party connect to the rest of the game? So heroes are used for multiple things. You can either go adventuring in the dungeons like I'm doing. The point of that is to level the heroes up to make them stronger, but you're also earning gold and crystals. Gold is, you know, gold. You use it for lots of things. Crystals are used for a lot of the advanced magical type buildings. So these, these crystals, shards that I was just talking about. The only way to get these is to go adventuring, and you have to have them in order to build certain things. So if we go to districts, and if I were to try to build a mage tower, I need 15 shards, a purifier, 30 shards, a nullifier, 240 shards. So certain of the higher end buildings require shards, and the only place to get those is in the dungeons. Um, so you have to send groups into the dungeons for that. Plus, you're also gaining magical items while you're in the dungeon, which further powers up the heroes. But in addition to adventuring in the dungeons and gathering those resources, if they clear out an extreme dungeon, there's a chance, I don't know if it's a chance or a guarantee um, from the, the highest level dungeon that you get an artifact, which feeds into the victory conditions of the game. Uh, yeah, so achievements so own any artifact you get 40 victory points towards winning the game if you get the artifacts in addition the heroes are also the governors of the cities so you'll get heroes that have bonuses uh so heroes so i have this hero sitting here in my capital uh giotti because she's got a, an administrator trait which makes her generate plenty plus 20 percent more gold here in the capital um, and she's also got a research bonus. So I snapped her up when I saw her uh, for hire. Put her into the capital where I generate most of my research and most of my gold. So she's administering or governing the capital. Um, plus, you can also send heroes into enemy territory to do various things. You can incite rebellions at towns. You can hunt down other enemy heroes and kill them. Um, you can also make the heroes leaders of your armies. So my main army here has my hero Angan currently leading it, giving him a, a commander or leadership rating in nine. Whoever has the army with the higher leadership rating gets a few bonuses in the combat calculations. So there's a lot of stuff. Multiple teams into the same dungeon? I don't know. I've never tried. Can't answer that one. It'd be kind of interesting. I don't know why not. I mean, only one can be adventuring at a time, and you have to leave the dungeon in order to get back out to this out world and then control the other team. But I don't see any reason why you couldn't have two teams clearing a dungeon together. They just can't both go in at the same time. 
But one goes in and does a room or two, pops out. Then the next one goes in and does a room or two, and you move on. But what's going to happen realistically is the first one that you can put together is going to be level three or four by the time you can manage to scrape together a second team. And the second team isn't going to be strong enough to go to the places that the first team's now going to. So you wouldn't probably often have a situation where you would want to send two teams in. Maybe late game when they're all leveled up pretty high, but not in the early mid game. They're just going to be too far apart power wise and level wise to uh, to do that. Unless you're slumming and sending your power group into the low level dungeons, but then you're depriving your uh, low level team of the opportunity to get XP. So not a good plan. Okay, so we're waiting for our heroes. They're on hiatus because we fast cleared that dungeon. So it's going to be a little while. They're currently enjoying uh, <laughs> some some mead. They're 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 having a fun time. So two more turns, they'll be available, and we'll go find another dungeon to hopefully speed run. That's still faster than what I was clearing it at. So if we can keep getting zero percent chances. I'll just keep rolling them down all these medium dungeons real fast. And hopefully they'll get enough XP to then start into the high-level dungeons. We shall see. All right, so we got that dungeon to do. What happened over here? I need to look at my summary. Uh, so we're still, what are we up to now? Wow, 69 food being used. There were 10 short on production in the middle of winter. So we'll be about even or a little in positive during the summertime. Uh, nothing else. Nothing else. Okay. So you're still hanging out here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of that. <laughs> Warwick finally decided to get moving. Uh, Cardier, you're doomed. Doomed, I tell you. You at war with anybody else yet? Uh, nope, just still Cardier. That is not a good sign. Apparently, whatever he was doing up here, he's done doing it. <laughs> That's the only thing Cartier currently holds. I could go squat on it. I do not want to leave this size 8 city. These guys moving in the winter time. It's going to be forever before they get over there. Um, Try to go through the forest during the winter or go around. I'm going to go around. Yeah, they, they can have Hilfar. I, I don't think Cardier had that to begin with. I don't remember if that was part of Cardier. We're not going to try to hold that. What do we do here, though? So he is still slightly, slightly damaged. Only the Spearman, unfortunately. And eh, one Wolf Cavalry. What are we looking at? Still looking at that number. I don't like that number. And if I attack with the other group... I have to move first out to the space here. Uses up half their movement, which is going to deplete their points, because otherwise we're sallying forth from a defensive location, which changes the math. So what to do? I think... Uh, can I afford to just hit him? Yeah, we need to find out. Let's hit him. Ooh, five to four. Ouch. And zero to zero. That's not impressive. And we took more damage there, too. Damn it. Yeah, the math just doesn't work that way. I would have had to have moved out, which I don't want to do. All right. Well, we did uh, we did some damage. He's going to have to... Well, actually, I think if he stays in that position, he's going to get to reinforce. Going to be a war of attrition on this spot. All right. That's fine. Uh, do I want to change anything here? Eh, 
Yeah, screw it. Maybe that will make uh, make these guys back off. Hopefully I can get these guys into here before he gets his units down this way. All right. Um... Yeah, I guess we uh, we continue our adventure over here. Research, something finished? Forget what I was working on. Oh, we got another alchemist. That's what's going on. I didn't think we were close to anything. Uh, let's do more armor and heals. Economy. Still selling at 80, are we? But the number is not jumping to ridiculous values, but it's still maintaining at, plus, at 80 per. Or 8 per for 80 total. Um, I've got enough for reinforcement. But we do need to buy food. Man, I really don't want to commit any more troops. Plus three armor just sitting here doing nothing. Does an enchanter do? It's just a category of magic type that uh, usually gives, I think, the resist magic bonus. Um, there's like three or four kind of side types of like a warrior. There's two or three different types of the wizard. There's two or three types. The healer, there's two or three types. And it just changes around a bit their innate abilities uh, and what options they have available to them. So my holy warriors, for example, have an additional a trait that they can use in combat that the warriors don't have, that kind of stuff. So if we go into the help file and look at the heroes, there are main class types. So warrior, holy warrior, woodsman, and brute versus cleric and druid for the healers. Adventurer, which is just the guy that finds traps mainly. Adept, enchanter, sorcerer, wizard, and magnus wizard <laughs> are that type. And then finally, it's kind of the dark uh, wizards, which my my kingdom doesn't have access to, Dark Adept, Warlock, and Magnus Warlock. But it changes this kind of stuff. So a Holy Warrior, for example, has uh, skill traits. Uh, skill traits. I forget which ones they have, but um, yeah, it just scrambles around a bit some of the uh, the traits and skills that they might have when they start. Yeah, right here. This is part of it, at least. It shows some of the info. This is what they level up, or when they get a level, they get a primary attribute increase and then a secondary attribute chance to increase. So, um, We're done again, right? Oh, wait, no. Got that adventure to go on. Which I'm not sure I want to go on. Do we risk it? Because now we have to go after that Terragun. We did level up. We've got all of them at level two and Sirius at level three, but the hit point values are still so low. We're in crit kill range. If they get a three and crit, they'll just flat kill Varen. And if that enemy hits all of our guys at once for even small amounts of damage, we won't be able to keep up with that. I mean, when it's single source uh, against the guy who's blocking, fine, but the block taunt doesn't work on that Terragon. That Terragon scares the crap out of me. It just removes so many of the things that keep this kind of a group going in that dungeon. I don't remember the stats that it had, but I'm more afraid of it than I, I was the uh, Mongo boss guy. So I don't know. Problem also is that I don't have, uh, I can't get six characters in there without pulling somebody out of a governing job. And I am absolutely not pulling the guy out of here. He's way too good. We're capped at 14 heroes until I can build more libraries. Or guilds, I mean. 
speaking of, did I... I don't think I set up another guild. I did a library upgrade. Which is already in play, so, yeah. I don't have any slots that I can put another guild into, so I'm capped at 14 until I conquer somebody else's place. So... Ah, I can't get that group up to full strength. So we could hop over into the other low dungeon. I think that's what I'll do instead. Start clearing this low dungeon. We'll come back and finish this one later if some other hero doesn't get to it first. 6%, but that's per character. So 30% chance somebody dies. <laughs> And or we roll lower than 6% multiple times and multiple people die. <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> uh, XCOM math strikes again. <laughs> Uh, that auto thing. I got to stop pushing that button. <laughs> no matter how low the numbers say, I got to stop pushing that button. That or it really was 30% rolled twice. Or we, we succeeded at three times. I, I don't know if it's actually 6%. Each person rolls and it has to be 6% or less. Or if it's... 6% times 5, and then it's a 30% chance that each person is rolling against. <laughs> uh, a battle early in expedition did not have a fortuitous outcome, and a party was forced to leave. Ah, that's... That's... Sure. Sure game. All right. Whatever. Now we have to go hire some more heroes. Uh, so who did we lose? We've still got the two warriors and uh, the cleric. I'm rolling with one healer in my other group. Plus two hit with magic. Got the lowest recruits cost, meaning he's got the least stats. Right. Get on up there, guys. Oops, I should have grabbed magic items before I left. <laughs> oh, well. Do, 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 do. All done here. All done with the adventuring. Done with that stuff. Back down to 59. First month of spring, but it's still cold in the region we're in, so we're still not providing enough food. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, he backed off. He backed off. The fool. The fool. All right. So we have a little bit of damage. Everybody back to full strength and hop on the city. You are still full strength. So that was, that's going to be the unit, the big unit now sitting here. If I push forward, got bad weather still. 
Bad weather still. Still got a storm going on. Cutting down movement rates. Yeah, we're going to wait. Not going to push it. <clears throat> Hopefully the storm clears up next round. Um, But if I go down these roads separately... I got nobody coming to back up. Warwick is not continuing to push forward. I don't know if it's because I covered Hill Hillar Hillfar. Hmm. I can't cover everything now. But I've got uh, Aminon pushed far enough south. I'm not worried about him coming up to grab stuff at the moment. Now, I don't know how he's going to work his calculations. I'm wondering if me holding these and him not being able to attack me without declaring war on me is stalling him because he won't be able to secure supply lines. You have to control the locations to extend your supply lines forward. So with me here... I think that stalls his calculations out. Which is more weirdness with the diplomacy system. Move forward or not. He's got so much movement rate. I mean, he went from, what, that space through mountains to get to here, theoretically. I don't know if that was his actual travel path, because how the hell would he have afforded that in the rain, <laughs> in the winter? How? I just don't see how he possibly could have moved, made that move. Yeah, that, that, that boggles my brain. If he's got that kind of movement. Yeah, we're going to hold here while I... Verify and make sure Warwick's not coming, I guess. Which leaves what? Don't have our heroes out yet. They're still hitting the bars. Other group is waiting for the reinforcements to show. <laughs> uh. No, nah, nothing like that. No overworld map spell casting. I'm going to pop back out of here. So with people dying, we didn't even get the exploration on it. I was hoping that um, the deaths occurred, but they still pushed through and finished exploring, but we didn't even get that. So we had people die and gained absolutely nothing. So that's actually even worse. You don't even get credit for... The kills, if did I even get any? I think that place still had the same number of enemies in it. Which I'm not sure I agree with. That seems a little little roughly balanced. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to think my way through that one. And or do it a couple more times and verify just what's happening. That that seems a little rough. All right, uh, bruh, what am I going to do? I, I can't advance because I moved these guys to take Istam and we reinforced. So we're low on horses again. I got to let that recover to make sure we can reinforce again if we get attacked. But this fight with these guys is just taking stupid, stupid long time. 
Look, we're on turn 38 now. We've been fighting them for like 30 turns out of the 38. <laughs> and we're just now finally moving into his territory with some degree of of capability. And we're no closer to helping Cardier. It doesn't look like they're ever going to declare peace. War with Warwick. Scatty. Scatty joined in. Scatty. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. When did that happen? So now, big guys at war with Cartier, big guys at war with Cartier, big guys at war with Cartier, and I'm uselessly trying to defend the stupid nation. Getting nothing out of it. I don't know. I might be done with this run, actually. I'm thinking I might need to restart and do things completely differently. Now, now that I know kind of the how things work, Is we're we're way behind at this point with where we could be. Um, plus, we still have the continuing issue with the hex control problem. It got patched, but it hasn't fixed in the existing game. So yeah, I'm thinking a restart is in order. This has just dragged on way too long. I learned a ton of lessons. I mean, I'm glad I I had this game and. Uh, Well, I can't without giving myself serious negative consequences because <laughs> we're allied with him and such. I'd have to spend like five turns or six turns insulting him continuously to drop our, uh, our, our condition and cancel our alliance and so on. Otherwise, I take huge hits. Simpler just to restart with lessons learned at this point. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. There's too many things, too many issues with, with what's going on here, and I've learned too much. So this is the first time I've played through any length amount of turns, really. So we uh, we learned a ton. We'll make a much, much better decisions next time. Um, the big thing I have to decide is, do I leave Cardier alone, or do I go after them myself first, trying to get the jump on Aminon? The problem early game is just the city, the capital. That that five fortification capital is just going to be stupid hard to reduce early. And I don't have enough troops to both attack that and kind of try to cover the various locations. Originally, my plan was ally Cartier, ally Tarawin up here in the north, and then go after Morator. But that never happened because this is just dragged and dragged and dragged and dragged. <clears throat> but I can already see where things are going in regards to the world progression. All the little guys are getting eaten up and the mid to big nations are getting mid to bigger, <laughs> midder and bigger um, quickly. So it's, it's going to go from like 28 nations to 14 nations pretty quick. Uh, and if I'm not on that train, uh, then we're going to get left behind. Plus, we ran into, and I'm continuing to run into, the problem of uh, doing more building. I've had the resources and the ability to build more, more districts, but I have no slots because all of my cities are maxed out. You can only build certain districts in certain size cities, and 90% of my little things are tiny little hamlets that I can't build the things I need in. They have one slot, and they won't take in that one slot the more... Build the buildings I actually want to put up. Uh, so I have to be conquering, and I, I haven't been conquering because I've been trying to defend Cardier this whole time. So um, we need to go out and actually take out like a size 10 city and take ownership and then move on from there. Um, or even like a size 6 or whatever. But I need to be taking cities so I have a continuously expanding slot capacity so I can keep building. And that's where we're really going to fall behind is these guys have been fully conquering other nations and getting additional larger cities that they can then build the upgraded buildings in and then kind of snowball their economies. Why didn't I take them out himself, myself? Because I'm a good guy <laughs> and he was a good guy. I'm playing uh, the good guy. So I did what the good guy would do. 
now we're not going to do that anymore because <laughs> there's just not enough there's not enough diplomacy infrastructure to support that kind of play now it's, it's just there's only one system there's kill everybody that that's going to be the only thing so the diplomacy system's just not deep enough and doesn't have enough hooks for the player to connect into to get things done and uh, it gets various issues because you just you can't do things like i i can't force Ammon Ammonon to declare peace with cardier it's looking like it's an eternal war as soon as war is declared it's to the death every single time i mean with my one example here in this game um but i'm not seeing any point where they actually declare war or declare peace i mean because he should be doing it i mean <laughs> I'm marching into his territory, taking his stuff now. So he should be ending wars and, and so on. So. Yeah. So it's, it's all about conquering. It's do the diplomacy just to get the short term bonuses and um, don't ally with places, you know, you're going to go to war with in the short term and then just try to raffle stomp things and, uh, and grow just so you can keep up with your neighbors Otherwise, you're going to get left behind as they gobble up everybody doing their own version of uh, painting the map. So that's what we'll have to do. I'm just undecided whether I want to focus on Cartier myself to prevent Ammonon from doubling its size basically pretty quickly and easily. Or do I just leave that for the free-for-all between those nations and uh, turn my attention to Morator? So with Morator, we've got this little road network with... Uh, uh, I don't know if that was always Morator there. I don't remember. I'll have to start a new map real quick and we'll, we'll see. But, um, yeah, it's going to be the same problem though. It's going to be this, uh, oh, it's only fortification three. Ooh, that's not as good as fortification five. Yeah, I don't know. At least Morator is a valid target. I mean, he's, uh, he's feudal. So he's not benevolent or lawful or so on. So, and, and they are uh, governed by a council of mages, uh, succumb to the lure of unlife magic. So, you know, <laughs> they're, they're like undead wizards trying to become immortal or something or near dead wizards or some combination. So, I mean, they're a valid target for a good guy to go after. It just irks me that I know that uh, probably Aminon is going to once again go straight for Cartier. I would love to take Cartier myself. I just got to justify it and actually pull it off. So, yeah, I, I think it's time to get out of this particular game. I learned a lot of lessons, but uh, we're, we're too far behind on too many things. So let's go ahead and bail to the main menu. I don't know if I'll actually play this one out, but I'll at least get the game started and take a look at a few things. Um, time is it? <clears throat> Uh, 1230 my time. Yeah, I'm going to need to get some lunch here pretty quick, but uh, let's go ahead and actually first, let me nuke the saves. Do, 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 do. Hey, save folder. I am now going to nuke you. Uh, do I need any of this? I'll, sa I'll keep one of my saves, the, the most recent save. Just if in case I need to do a test slightly later game. But nuke all the other ones. Whoops. That is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Wrong button. Just created about uh, 40 shortcuts accidentally. Load game. It's still listing them, is it? All right. Quit. Relaunch. They're not there anymore. Load game. That's more like it. <laughs> All right. Uh, settings. Uh, not that stuff. Option. Large adventures. Adventure radius of three to nine. Radius of three. Yeah, let's do large adventures. Then we can we have camps that we can make while we're adventuring to recover our healing rates. 
but you can only do so many, I think. But let's make it a big game. So we'll do that. Uh, I don't want to change that. I thought he set it so you can pick how many save files you want. But where would that be? If it's not in options and it's not in settings. Your current resolution is not 3440 by 1440. <laughs> it's 2560 by 1440. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure where that option would be. All right, new game. We're doing the Realm of Aired main story, which I'm not going to read through all this, but uh, yeah, there you go. Feel free to uh, pause and read if you would like. 180 turns. Kill them all. And survive the servants of Drail that are spawning in the north. Whoever's got the most victory points at the end of the 180 turns is the winner. Other scenarios, some very different from this particular type of scenario. Some of them are much smaller combat focused scenarios and, and so on. So plus there's an editor, so you can make your own, which is cool. Uh let's hit start. Uh, I'm gonna play the same same company or country, brighter kind. We can pick anybody we'd like, so we can pick any of the available countries. Uh, but I'm going to stay with the same one. Single player, no bonus, no bonus. Normal difficulty. Uh, large dungeons. It's not on this screen either for the save info. I wonder where we put it. Whatever. So, in-game options. Fleets visible or not. Large dungeons or not. Kingdoms start with their default nature. Yep, that's fine. Default strategy. Uh, so yeah, I think Aminon has got a default strategy to always go after Cartier. Corruption curse on. Computer opponents are loyal with good relations. <laughs> Versus what? I guess they don't uh, declare war on you or break the alliance or whatever. That's eh, fine. In we go. Yeah, we're going to do a new start. Lessons have been learned. I know a lot more about how things work now. So, game will end in 180 turns, about 15 game years, with a final countdown beginning at 12 to go. 25% less and 25% more in summer. All right. Uh, so, we know about all this. So, here we go. There's beautiful Cardiar. <laughs> so, yeah, they did take Hillfar from those guys. And uh, this does belong to uh, Morator. And they do only have three fortification level in that uh, capital city. Nah, I never bother doing that during the stream. Let people be confused. I'm uh, probably not going to actually play this out right now anyway, so I need to go uh, get some lunch. So I'm just showing the starting position, and we'll actually start playing uh, in the next stream, which could be later today. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, so this is our starting condition. So that is Cartier as they should be, just this little tiny bit. And uh, the bad guys, Aminon. Hmm. That is the bad guys of the scenario. Apparently at some point they're going to come out of there, but I didn't notice them doing anything in the 38 turns we had in that, that first game. So yeah, here we are. What do we start with? 121. It's going to be fun being back to not generating much resources. Any research. Yeah, this is a pre-made map. All the maps are pre-made. Don't believe this has any kind of procedural generation maps. There is a scenario editor so people can make their own maps and have them available and such. But this one's specifically built so that um, the dev can have preset kind of things. Uh, meaning like Aminon attacking Cardiar, and I'm sure there's other focuses for the various nations to give them a, a direction to go before it goes 
very uh, air shaped <laughs> and they have to think for themselves. All right, let's uh, let's make a save here. I guess we'll switch to uh, X1 for our new naming convention for this one. So battle for black iron, easy scenario. Uh, as work, you must control the most population before Rusa can muster its allies and threaten your western borders within two years, 24 turns. So this is a much smaller, more focused game. And it's comparing population. War game of conquest and adventure, no corruption curse. I just want to go look at it real quick. So, yeah, much smaller, just two nations battling it out. Full strength army, huh? Be nice. And another full strength army. And a close to full strength, not quite. But not much guarding the backfield either. So yeah, that's a that's a very different map and type of scenario to uh, test out. Demo. I'm not interested in doing the demo one. Dreadmoor invasion scenario complexity easy. Uh, Realms mages will have their powerful spells prepared at the end of five years. War game of conquest. No corruption. Game ends in 60 turns. Most population again. Well, we have one choice, really. Who else is in there? Whoa. <laughs> okay. I see. That would be Dreadmore versus Valorcrest. Pretty straightforward bad guy versus good guy fight. These guys are about to get raffle stomped. Look at those armies. You ain't got strength over here, buddy. How are you going to survive that? Where are where is your armies? <laughs> Do you not have any? Oh my goodness. This uh, oh, there's an army way back here. This is an example of big nation being hit by uh Power mad small nation with a lot of initial armies. You just have to stall them long enough to get your army forward and recruit and defend and then slowly claw back. Sure is sure is what that looks like. <laughs> Forty five percent bureaucratic product or uh, corruption. Okay, so this looks like one of those asymmetrical type things where the uh, combat powers on the smaller side against the larger, and you got to hold out long enough to get your forces brought up. Interesting. Um, nope, not load. Earth magic, medium. 240 turns. Good lord. And a victory point win, huh? Oh, it's a, it's a European map. Oh, we got to go look at that. Who do we want to play? The Celts, England, Denmark. Let's play. Oh, we even got the Persians. Wow, that must be a really big map. We got the Ottomans and the Byzantines. Huh. Uh, let's just be Denmark. Uh, it's not as big hex-wise as I thought it might be. Eh, maybe it is. Maybe the zoom scale is slightly different. That is quite the amount of landmass. Does extend quite a quite a ways over. All right. Old Constantinople.
It's not showing, um, I guess it is Portuguese, Spain, the Franks, the Memlucks, Ottomans. All right. Huh. That's us right there, huh? Oh, well, we got that as well. That is, uh, yeesh. <laughs> yeesh. I'll stick with the other map for now. I want to see a Celt total victory. I challenge you all to perform a Celt total victory <laughs> with your one little unit on your island here. You got to paint the map. Good luck. 240 turns. Go. That would be quite the deal. What else? Fallen Empire, high complexity, 120 turns. Uh, a lot of storyline stuff. And I, I don't know if he's adding more of these or plans to add more before the release in July. Or if any of the folks that have access to it are working on uh, scenarios. See, that, that feels bigger than the, uh, the European map. That is another really big one. Wow, is this all this one nation? Withered Eye? The Lori... Reslio House, huh? That is a lot of uh, whatever this is. Withered Eye. I didn't read through the storyline stuff, but. Alrighty. What do we got? One more to look at, and then we're done. Isle of Nemora. 120 turns. Seven playable kingdoms, many smaller ones. Take control of one of the kingdoms. Destroy your enemies on a 50 by 50 map. We will be Rune Weave Circle. Very hard difficulty versus what? Very hard, hard. All hard with one very hard? Well, of course, we'll pick the very hard one. Ooh, that's more like it. Nice, compact. Oof. Well, I can see why they're the hard one. They're <laughs> right in the middle of everybody else with a bunch of little ones right next to them. Yeesh, they are the Switzerland of this map. Holy crap, though. Look at the uh, fortification values. Wow. Hmm. Clasp Grip Mountains, huh? That is some ridiculous uh, fortification levels. Good luck anybody digging them out. That'd be interesting. But yeah, how would you expand from there? One army stack. Hmm. All right, uh, so Kingdom Dungeon Hero, uh, I'm going to leave it right here. We will um, save the restart on the new map for uh, the next session. We'll get started fresh, and I'll update the, uh, <laughs> of course, the uh, stream title to reference that we're starting a new one, and uh, we'll go from there. I think he's working on another patch for the, in the next day or two. I don't know what he's planning on patching. Hopefully, uh, if we start, it doesn't uh, patch anything that's going to cause a problem like the hex control thing did. Uh, we'll see though. All right. That's it for me for now. I'm going to go uh, get some lunch. Uh, have a happy Easter, everybody. I will uh, catch you a little bit later in the day.